if we if we select and go insert uh, a table, insert table, I get the table, and the, some of the features of the table are that everything expands automatically. So if I go here to the last row and go tab, automatically I get a new row. And then I can fill in, let's say I have a new invoice coming in and instead of going to the, run the report again and copy and paste, I just want to add the information here. Let's just as, a, as an example, let's say everything here is the same as above. So control D copies me, copies everything from the cells above. And just like that, all the format from the columns was ex automatically expanded. The date format for the date here was expanded automatically. The total row came down one row and it's including everything from this column. It says subtotal of the column amount. And the column amount, I can see the column amount is this one. I was saying that name of the columns, the column headers will show instead of the, the, the sheet names like A, B, C, D when we scroll down. So that's another advantage. And I also mentioned here, I can come and add totals for uh, the columns that make sense. For example, if I wanted to know, give me the average of items sold of each row, on each row, I have an average of 14.9. May not make a lot of sense for this case. So I'm going to just do the, the sum, okay? Sum of items sold. So I'm, I was mentioning all these interesting characteristics of a table that we can use automatically just by working with an Excel table entity instead of working with a range.